Welcome to the FishFlix.com Christian Movie Podcast. Every week we review a Christian film, informing you about the plot, letting you know our thoughts, and finally, how family-friendly the movie is. I'm your host, Noah Metzger. Please join me this week as we take a look at the film Left Behind. World peace. It's been a dream ever since Cain looked sideways at Abel. Peace. In the Middle East. Now that would be a miracle. Until in an instant, the world is changed. The rapture, the vanishings, this marks the beginning of the rise of the Antichrist. So small, so easily manipulated. And he will confirm a covenant with the many for seven years. This marks the beginning of our seven years of peace. On this episode, we'll be reviewing the original Left Behind film from 2000. This movie has received a lot of attention lately, due to the fact that a reboot was just released in theaters last year. Unfortunately, the reboot of Left Behind did not fare well in the box office or in the eyes of the critics, so today we'll be taking a more positive look at the original Left Behind movie. If you're interested in purchasing this film or would like to know more about it, please be sure to check out our website at fishflix.com. In the original film adaptation of Left Behind, we follow GNN news reporter Buck Williams, played by Kirk Cameron, as he begins to uncover a monumental political conspiracy. Meanwhile, millions of people simply disappear without a trace. Rumors begin to spread about the Christian rapture having taken place, and Buck Williams, along with Rayford and Chloe Steele, begin to wonder if this marks the beginning of the end times. Fifteen years ago when this movie released, it was a very different time. The Christian film industry was almost non-existent at this point. There were a few independent Christian movies being made with very low budgets, but these were still few and far between. When Left Behind released, it was a very big deal. The producers touted it as the biggest and most ambitious Christian movie to ever be made. Looking back on this film, it does feel a bit dated now. The scripting isn't perfect, the production budget is obviously very low, but we have to take into account what things were like when this movie released. As I said before, this movie was a big deal. For the time, this was an impressive feat. Christian book-to-film adaptations were almost non-existent, and a film of Left Behind was something new and exciting that we could all get on board with. Despite some of its flaws, it really is a good movie, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. One scene in particular will always stick with me, of a pastor who discovers he was living a lie. He never truly believed in the Bible himself, and he is dumbstruck when he finds that he is not taken in the rapture. He has to learn how to deal with this blow to his faith, and he has to decide, will he choose to live his faith for real, or will he turn his back on God completely? One big difference between this movie and the new reboot with Nicolas Cage is the subplot of Nikolai Carpathia and the political intrigue. While the new film has a very linear storyline, the original Left Behind introduces the second plot to help fill out the script and give the narrative more depth. We at FishFlix.com thought this was a great addition, as it sets up a lot of plot points that will come into play a lot more heavily in the sequel. It kept me a lot more engaged with the story as I genuinely wanted to know more about this political conspiracy. While Left Behind is certainly starting to show its age 15 years later, I still think it's a classic and definitely worth adding to your library. It was a milestone in the Christian film industry, and surely sparked a lot more interest in this new and rapidly growing medium. This movie is mostly family-friendly, featuring only a couple instances of language and no explicit sexual content. There is some violence in this movie, and we do see a few characters get murdered on screen. The gore is kept to a minimum, however. We like to follow the Dove Foundation's rating, which rates this movie appropriate for ages 12 and up. If you would like to find out more about or purchase Left Behind, you can visit our website at www.fishflix.com. There we have a vast assortment of Christian films you can learn about or purchase directly from our website. Thank you for joining us, and as always, please be sure to stay tuned as we bring you more reviews every week on the fishflix.com Christian Movie Podcast.